Good everybody, Chris Bahi here from the Bailey's Insights and Data team. In this video, I'll be giving you an update on the latest activity in the housing market as at the start of April 2023. Now, if you're wondering where I'm sitting today, I'm actually somewhere really special. So I'm at the penthouse for Omana North in Milford in Auckland. So this is a brand new three bedroom, four bathroom penthouse apartment, 181 square meters. It's got two car parks. It's five minutes walk from Milford Beach. Overall stunning design and absolutely beautiful views. If you want to learn more about this, contact the Bailey's Residential Projects team using the links in the description. Getting into the market, the RONZ released their latest housing market statistics for the month of February 2023. Across New Zealand, there were just under 4,000 sales during February, which is well below what we'd see in a normal February. That said, if you look at the price indicators, they were reasonably stable over the past month. So the New Zealand median house price was sitting at 762,000, which was actually basically flat on the prior month. Now, in terms of what you could have purchased for that median of 762,000, up in Auckland, you could have purchased three bar 10 Air Road in Pukaranga Heights. So this is a nearly new two bedroom terraced home sitting on 107 square meters. This was sold by Lawrence Liu and Casey Hurst from Bailey's Howick. Taking that same money to the South Island, you could have purchased 14 Discovery Way in Waikawa Bay in Melbra. And so this is a nearly new two bedroom home sold by Roger Jones from Bailey's Melbra. And then alternatively in the lifestyle market, you could have purchased 774 Mangawara Road in Morrinsville. And so this is a two bedroom home sitting on 1.0 hectares of beautifully landscaped grounds. This was sold by Wayne Robb and Nikki Robb from Bailey's Hamilton. And so this property was marketed by auction and sold under the hammer. So great outcome there. Now jumping into the house price indices, if you put a regional view across those, you'll see that there's been a general downward trend across most parts of New Zealand. They said if you look at Auckland and Wellington, there was something interesting with prices in Auckland being flat over the past month and prices actually rising slightly in Wellington. Now this is interesting because we've had this theory that Auckland and Wellington have been leading the correction with other areas lagging behind them. Um, if that's true, we'd also expect that Auckland and Wellington would stabilize first. And so these latest stats could be the first signs of that happening, although we will need a couple of months of data before we can establish any new trend. Now in terms of the outlook for the market, if you look over the past six to 12 months, um, the key factors that have been impacting things have been the uncertainty around interest rates, the downward momentum in the market, and really the lack of urgency by buyers associated with both of those. If you look at the latest interest rate data coming out of the Reserve Bank, you'll see that the long-term interest rates like your three and five year mortgage rates have been reasonably stable and there's a sense that they have peaked. And then in terms of that downward momentum for prices, those latest statistics for Auckland and Wellington in particular show that there could be a change to the trend starting to occur, although it would take us a couple of months before we can see clear data to support that. Once those two factors are under control, we can expect more activity in the market and that will bring more urgency back to buyers.